The scenario for today's exercise is a tornado that does significant damage to property in Charlevoix and Emmett counties, including damaging communications infrastructure, cell phones, internet, two-way radios, as well as property damage, auto accidents, injuries. So our scenario is if all communications go down and the counties call up ham operators to assist, we are practicing our communication among the counties and outside of the affected area. The base for our operations today is in Sheboygan. We have our communications trailers set up at the Sheboygan County Fairgrounds. Adam, one of our members, is net control, meaning he's kind of like our dispatcher. I am located in East Jordan at my home. Everything you'll see today will be from my perspective recorded at my home station here in East Jordan. Okay, I've connected the interface, so this little white box right here allows me to connect my computer down there to any of these radios. But today we're going to be connecting it to this little guy over here on the left. We are going to send voice messages today as well as digital messages where we send information between our computers over our radios. We're also in the process right now of linking two of our repeaters. So the repeater here right here is up in Stutzmanville, just north of Petoskey. And we're working on linking it to one in Traverse City, which I'm monitoring on this radio at the moment. We've done this many times before, works pretty well. We're just getting, getting the link set up right now and testing it. Here comes the first transmission for our exercise. This is a tornado watch being issued to all of our CCEC PSCO members that are listening. For Charlevoix, Sheboygan, and Emmett counties, in effect until 1200 hours. NWS reports funnel clouds over Lake Michigan heading in a northeast direction. Primary uh, possibilities of mainland Charlevoix. This is an exercise, this is an exercise, this is an exercise. Whiskey 8, Charlie, Charlie Echo. Here's the next message we received. This is an exercise. At this time, CCE 911 dispatch has dispatched Charlevoix Fire and EMS to the Charlevoix Hospital with a possible uh, tornado strike. This is an exercise, this is an exercise, this is an exercise. Now we're assuming that I have been called up and requested to help, so now I am checking in with Net Control to let him know that I am on the air. W8CCE, W8CCE, W8NWO. W8NWO, this is W8CCE. This is a drill. W8CCE, this is W8NWO. Charlevoix EOC has been activated. Racy's communications have been established at EOC and Munson Charlevoix. This is a drill, this is a drill. W8NWO. We have you on station in communication with Munson Charlevoix. Please stand by for traffic as we move through this exercise. This is an exercise. Whiskey 8, Charlie, Charlie Echo. So that's my first inject. I'm getting ready to send out a rave alert just to our races members. We're going to hit the button and send an alert. We're still using CCE's Rave Alert system to call up our members. We can send voice messages, emails, and text messages through this system. So I'm sending an alert, letting everyone know of our exercise. Mike is here helping me today, and you just got it? Did you get a text? I got a text. I'll get a phone call in a minute. All right, you just got a text, and I'll get a phone call as well. This is a drill. CCE. All right, I'm getting ready to send a message digitally. So I'm plugging the computer into the radio and transmitting. You can see up here on screen as it's sending the message. This is a drill. All our messages say this is a drill. 
and I just made up a ICS 213 on my computer that looks something like this. You can't see the whole message on screen, but I just typed up a list of initials and what hospitals were supposed to transfer patients to. This is a good use of uh, this digital digital messaging software because you want to make sure that every initial is right, every location is right. WNWO, this is WHCCE. This is an exercise. We have full copy on your message. Please stand by while I process, process that with the Sheboygan DOC. Uh, we will get back with you shortly on a response. WHCCE, this is an exercise. This is an exercise. This is Kate RCC. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we are not set up to receive a digital message. However, we are ready to receive an analog message. Charlotte Boy Hospital is requesting for any and all ambulances available to transfer patients from the Charlevoix Hospital to Munson, Traverse City, or possibly on Seago. Can you check with your EOC down there and advise if you have any that you can send our way? So in this case, Grand Traverse was not set up to receive the message digitally, so we just read it over the air. So Ernie proceeded to read his response over the air for Net Control to copy. Now Net Control is going to send his response to me digitally. Are you ready to handle digital traffic? Affirmative. Okay, we're going to be sending you another form advising of the EMS situation to Munson Charlevoix. Uh, stand by. This is an exercise. Okay, so Adam's going to send a message to us digitally. My computer is ready to receive. It's hooked up to the radio. And Mike also has his cell phone over here. So there's the message coming in on the screen right now. Okay, so Mike received the text of that on his cell phone, just set his phone next to the radio and received the message. I got it on my computer screen here as a nice formatted ICS-213, which at this point I could print and hand to someone. I could email it to someone, or I could save it for later, or I could send it off to somebody else digitally. So we're in communication with Mackinac County, with Grand Travers. Uh, I'm here in Charlevoix County. Adam and the gang are up in Sheboygan County, and we have someone at home in Emmett County as well. Uh, K-E-8-R-K, K-E-8-R-K, this is Whiskey 8, Charlie, Charlie X, Echo, Exercise. Now we're calling a station Roger. located in Boyne City. Uh, Roger, Exercise, uh, can you give us a damage report for Charlevoix County? Uh, yes, we have uh, trees down, uh, and Jack Pearson. Roger, Exercise, and Jack proceeded to give a damage assessment from his location. Now we're going to talk even further outside of the area. This is Whiskey A Charlie Charlie Echo. This is an exercise. This is an exercise. Looking for Loose County EOC or Chippewa County EOC. Please call. WHCCE, this is Loose County EOC. Standing by. We're going to be getting a request from Presque County in a moment. They're coming in on VHF. And we proceeded to talk to Presque Hill County. Now multiple counties are going to be contacting net control simultaneously just to kind of give them a stress test. We're just trying to create some chaos Intentionally. And 
and Adam did a great job sorting that all out. Our exercise concluded by contacting the State Emergency Operations Center and requesting that they declare a disaster for Charlevoix and Emmett counties. So we actually had a person in the state EOC today participating in our exercise and we were able to make direct connection over the radio with the state EOC and pass that message along.